Hey everyone, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. And I am so, so excited today because finally we have confirmation of Seeking Sister Wife season three. It finally got a legit premiere date premiere date acknowledged by TLC. We have a teaser and we're going to go through the new cast. We have two returning families and three new families. And one family that I think a lot of people wanted to see return was the Aldr Aldridges. <laughs> I stumble over names. I stumble over words. It is what it is. A lot of people were fascinated by them. Do you remember they were the ones that had that sister wife, the potential sister wife they were courting that faked her own death? It was really fascinating. It has been over two years since the Snowden's wedding, which was the culmination of season two of Seeking Sister Wife. So we have been waiting a long time. And I am just so excited because initially it was rumored kind of out there that it was supposed to premiere on February 28th. I, along with some other people that follow the show, had posted about it. Oh, my neck, the neck on this, it's kind of funky. We had been posting about it. We're all super excited about it. And then there was a gap in the time slot on February 28th. Nobody knew why. Paige McGee, who was a former um, cast member, she, it was her and her husband were potentially looking for another sister wife and that all was a big old mess but she said that the the premiere date was pushed back I don't know why she posted that because she's not even on the season but anyways we thought maybe the show is just canceled who knows but yay we finally found out it's coming back March 22nd along with the last half of the season of Unexpected. For me, one of the things that I really found fascinating about Seeking Sister Wife is it didn't just follow fundamental Mormons. There were other couples and other family dynamics that we saw that wanted to explore polygamy. People have been fascinated by the Snowdens especially um and now we have the clarks um are another couple um i think the other two the winders the merrifields and the joneses i think have all grown up for religious reasons um are exploring the polygamy um lifestyle but it it is interesting for me to find people who are not fundamental mormons that still want to explore this lifestyle. I just think it's really fascinating. I think that's what also has captured viewers as well. Another rumor that was floating around as to why the premiere got pushed back is that potentially they were either editing a couple because they became problematic or editing an entire family out. And we will see how that plays out. Also, <laughs> they had been teasing that there was like a, a 90 day crossover and I was like oh my gosh it's gonna be Tariq and Hazel they're gonna be on Seeking Sister Wife it's not uh Tariq and Hazel but it is the um Maryfields and when we get to them this is going to be a fascinating storyline it's gonna I think it's gonna be probably the most heartbreaking too <laughs> I am really excited to keep learning more about everyone. Kimberly is a woman that we've been talking to for a couple of months. Just make sure that you don't leave me and her alone. Yeah. There's not going to be any sex. We'll keep you honorable. Appreciate you experiencing this pregnancy with me. Sophie's pregnant, I'm not. It's hard to always be really excited for her. So let's start off talking about the Winders. They're one of the returning couples and they are a fundamental um, Latter-day Saint family. They actually have their own um, website. Um, like the Browns on Seeking Sister Wife, they are trying to um, change the laws around polygamy in Utah so that it's decriminalized and they can kind of live without fear of persecution. Um, I found this fascinating on their Facebook. They posted, um, on March 7th. It's amazing for us to think how much has changed in the past two years 
since the second season of Seeking Sister Wife aired. Appearing on the show was never easy. It's not something that is uh, naturally in our character. The dynamic people expect from reality TV is not a dynamic we possess as a family. We could see that there was a change that needed to happen in the world though, and if we didn't speak out, who would? Our family is always open to growth and the potential for wives to join us on our journey. This is true for us, whether we participated on the show or not, and it will happen when and if God is ready for it to happen. We did the show to influence positive change in the world and to gain a voice in our community's fight for freedom from oppression. I hope we were successful. We haven't updated our blog for quite a while. Maybe we'll get around to it again someday. It was interesting to read this post this morning that was written two years ago. And he linked on Facebook um, their blog. And I'm going to link their blog, which is their website, in the description of this video. Um, it was interesting to read this post this morning that was written two years ago and to reflect on how much has changed in our family, Colton. Now... The Winders are probably the most fundamental. So a little historical fun fact. In 1890, Utah was vying for statehood. And that a lot of people that still are fundamental Mormons who still believe in the practice of polygamy disagree with the revelation that plural marriage was no longer accepted by the church. They think that the only reason why the Mormon church did this was because it was the only way that Utah was going to obtain statehood. And this is definitely a, a viewpoint that the Winders adhere to as well. So they all recently moved in together. They're also much more, um, they have to have, uh, Colton has to have supervised dates courting is not dating. Um, there's not any hanky panky going on as to be respectful to his wives. Um, it's much more strict for lack of a better word. Um, they do have a potential sister wife named Kimberly. Um, Starcasm actually put out a really good article that introduces all the families and I got some information from that article that I'm sharing. So I will link that in the description as well. Um, we will see, um, Colton seems to be a little bit more hesitant about expanding the family, um, than the other two sister wives. I think there is going to be jealousy and the, the topic of infertility is going to come up with this family. Don't get too close. <laughs> not yet, not yet. <laughs> Salsa definitely sets the stage for intimacy to take place. Speaking of sharing, <laughs> you already said the D schedule. Oh, I like it in the morning. Crystalline can be getting D in the night. Um, that's kind of scary to think about. <laughs> I'm not ready to go. I would like to stay. This is this is really happening. I'm so serious. Right. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, ah, <laughs> uh, the Snowdens. The Snowdens were probably a. They pro they are a fan favorite. They captured everybody's fascination. And if you notice in the teaser, Vanessa is gone. So what happened to Vanessa? I'm sure they're going to address it. Based on her social media, she seems to be living in Australia now. So we will see what happens there. There are two new girlfriends in the picture. Crystalline, who lives in South Africa, and she's a single mother, so they're going to be blending families. And Taylor, um, she's from Atlanta, Georgia. So we will see how this dynamic plays out. It is interesting when we talk about the Winders, how they um, practice supervised courting because, you know, they don't want any uh, hanky-panky happening. Um, that definitely happened with Dimitri Snowden. Um, and we saw that Ashley did not respond very well to that. So we will see what happens if he can control his urges and uh, what um, what life has in store for them this season. And um, based on the Starcasm article, they still are living in Los Angeles. All rice. This is a dissolution of marriage. The only way to get Roberta from Brazil to America is for Garrick to legally marry her. So Garrick and I have to get divorced for that to happen. Are you worried Danielle will hear you not excited? Claro. <laughs> So the Merrifields, I'm probably most excited about this couple because 
the dynamic is baffling to me and I think it's going to be absolutely heartbreaking. So I'm not excited that it's going to be heartbreaking. I'm just this uh, relationship dynamic is very interesting and I could see why they were cast on the show. Um, so this is the 90 day crossover that was teased. They live in Colorado and they have been married for 13 years. So they've been a monogamous couple for over a decade. And now they're getting legally divorced again, similar um, situation to the Browns and sister wives. But the difference being, um, Garrick, who's the husband, he believes that God led them now to live a plural lifestyle. I find that to be very interesting after over a decade of living a monogamous lifestyle. What is the dynamic there? Um, they are courting a Brazilian woman named Roberta and she doesn't speak English. She only speaks Portuguese. So this is going to be very interesting to have a language barrier. Um, they're getting legally divorced and it just looks absolutely heartbreaking um, the, in the teaser where they showed them at court. Um, they go down to Mexico a la uh, Andrew, um, but they are successful in, in uniting in Mexico. And it seems like Danielle is questioning what the future holds for them. So we will see what happens. They, I am absolutely the most interested in this relationship and you guys will have to let me know in the comments who you're most excited about, what you guys think of this season. But anyways, let's move forward. How many women is that now? You got a lot going on. I'm currently talking to five women, but there's no possible way that I could continue to seek another sister wife if we don't correct the situation with Kayla. I feel like your role might be a little more important than mine. We can switch. You can work. Pop your hood up. So Emily's a friend of mine, and she's starting to become more curious about polygamy. How could we explore it together? Now, that was a question I felt like you've been dying to ask me. <laughs> then there are the Clarks. So it's Jared, Vanessa, and Kayla. Um, so Vanessa and Kayla and Jared, they live in North Carolina. Um, Kayla has been feeling like not a valued member of the family. Um, Jared is dating like tons of women. Um, so I'm really interested to know on what they base their um, desire to live a plural lifestyle. There is a lot of tension in the already established family. So bringing in another member, that's going to add another layer of tension as well. So we will see what happens. And I think the he has like a friend that comes over for help with her car. And then they she might be a potential sister wife. So we will see what happens. Hi, hey, how are going? you? I've been chatting with a woman named Alexandra. What if I want multiple husbands? <laughs> then uh, finally, we have the Joneses. And this is a scandal. So it's Sidian and Tosha Jones. And they live in Idaho and they were already living a plural lifestyle. Um, Tosha was actually Sidian's second wife, but the first wife left them. So she got, um, is that considered a promotion? I'm not sure. Um, so that was very traumatic for them. Now they feel like they're ready to, um, start dating, start searching for another sister wife. What do you guys think of the new couples? Who are you? Does anybody have a fan favorite right now? I think for me, I'm most excited about the Merrifields. Like I said, usually though, when I'm super excited about a cast member, as it goes with 90 Day Fiance, they turn out to be a huge bummer and a huge disappointment. So I don't know if my judgment <laughs> really holds water here, um, but we will see what happens. Um, what do you think of the the returning couples, who they chose to bring back? Do you wish they brought back the Aldridges? Is that how you say? Aldridges? Yeah. Um, be I would love for that have, to have seen them continue their journey. Uh, so anyways, who are you guys most excited for? What do you think of this new season? Do you think they edited out an entire family or have you guys heard anything further on that rumor that um, one of the families became extremely pl problematic? 
I'm really interested to know why do you think they pushed back the premiere to begin with and just let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Reality Squad, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone. Much love.